York's classic rock, Q1043. All right, welcome back. Jonathan Clark in the studio with a new artist by the name of Sonny and uh, his uh, colleagues, his comrades, his partners in crime from Glass Note Records joining us as well. It's Sonny along with uh, Nick and Jeff from Glass Note Records. Well, welcome to you, Sonny. Um, so it's spelled me. S-N-N-Y. And uh, the new EP is Learning to Swim, and you're playing Thursday night, August 3rd, part of an evening with Glass Note, along with Bio and uh, Robert DeLonks. And it's Glass Note Records' 10th anniversary, like a mini festival, right, guys? Um, but you have been, like, all over the place. Born in uh, the Ivory Coast, uh, then it was, uh, you moved to Boston at the age of three. Am I getting this right so far? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then you checked out L.A. for a couple years. Yeah. And then uh, you now you're based here in New York City with a new EP coming out, um, all because you uploaded a song to SoundCloud. These guys heard it and decided to sign you. That's got to feel pretty good, right? Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of crazy. Essentially, I we expected like you know to have great, feedback, great feedback and stuff, but not at that rate. You know, it was have to. So how quickly back. did it happen? Like within the span of like two weeks. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, and while growing up, your mom, uh, I found this really interesting, was always playing lots of music, uh, good music. Uh, people like Bob Dylan, Jimi Hendrix, Miles Davis, uh, good artists, you know, as a yeah. background for you growing up, right? Yeah, I mean, I remember specifically she played Purple Rain this one time. I remember, like, listening to the beautiful ones, and I was just like, what is this? Yeah, yeah. Where is this coming from? Uh, your music has been described as indie, R and B, hip hop, and pop. Uh, would that be sort of accurate? Yeah, I mean, it's just I just live like in all of those realms essentially, and I draw yeah. inspiration from all of them. So, and what is your go-to instrument? Or are you just singing and writing lyrics and songwriting rapping? is songwriting. like my favorite part of okay. the creation and the creative process? Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's Glass Note Records' 10th anniversary with a mini festival at the South Street Seaport, uh, Thursday, August 3rd, with you, Sonny, uh, Bio, uh, Chris Bio from Vampire Weekend. Bayo, like, uh, Bayo. Like Chris Bayo. Like Chris Bayo. Or Scott Bayo. Scott Sca Bayo. But who who Bayo. he may be related to. He may not be related to I, Scott. I think he, he is, right? Like a second or third I think cousin. Second or third cousin or something like that. I think he wants that to be, uh, you know. A and mystery. that li <laughs> that lineup uh, really sort of demonstrates the diversity that is Glass Note, also the home of uh, Grammy-winning Mumford and Sons in Phoenix, the multifaceted Childish Gambino, Two Door Cinema Club, Churches, the Strombellas, the Temper Trap, so many more. Hard to believe it's been ten years. I think I knew you, Nick, before you were at Glass Note Records. Just before, yeah. Yeah, I, I've been there for about eight years now. Oh my Thank God! Uh, and Jeff touring uh, an integral part. Of, of everything and that's sort of the area of that that you handle there yeah. uh at putting these in this new world of the music business touring has become even more important right touring is vastly important and for us just live opportunities you know, yeah opportunities and helping find opportunities and work with our partners and agents to find the best moments for our artists to play live for people is we think the best way to get the word out about all of our bands yeah, because it's not the way it used to be anymore. It's like touring is so key. Like, you have to be out there touring. So, Sonny, get ready to work, man. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> uh, tell me about this new compilation that Glass Note put out. It's called Noteworthy. Noteworthy 01. So, you know, it's interesting that you bring this up because last night I was watching this documentary about death by audio. Are you familiar with this? I've heard of it, yeah. It's definitely worth a watch. It's inspiring and uh, depressing at the same time because they had to close down. But, you know, when you watch this documentary... It, some people may walk away thinking like, oh, wow, the, the music scene in New York is dead. It's, you know, there's nothing going on. And uh, we just feel that it couldn't be further from, from the truth. There, there are a lot of incredible artists creating in New York right now. So, you know, Daniel is lifelong New Yorker. Daniel you know, Glass. Daniel Glass. Yes. Um, you know, one of, the, one of the best ways that I think you can, you can illustrate that is when you look at the poster of the 1994 New York Knicks playoff game where John Starks dunks oh, right. on Michael Jordan. Okay. You see Daniel Glass in the front row. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can't get That's any more amazing. New York than that. Um, but anyway, you know, he's been, uh, I guess you could say, on a mission to put a spotlight on, on New York and, and you know, how great of an environment it still is for, for artists to live and thrive and, and, and create. So we wanted to create this compilation. None of the artists are signed to Glass. 
just uh, artists that that we think are doing some some really cool things, making great music. That would be a first, I think. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, absolutely. And uh, you know, listen, the, the Grammys are coming back to New York next year. There, there are still, like I said earlier, a lot of great artists that live here and are still creating. So we just wanted to to put a spotlight on this and whatever influence we may have. Um, you know, just just put a spotlight on give it. Give a shout out to yeah. some of the artists on the compilation. Jeff well, I want to give a shout out to Jenny Kaufman in our yeah. office who actually really put this together. It's not as much the work of Nick and I. She really, it was a labor of love for her. She, 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 she put in she, a lot of work. She found all the artists and, uh, and, and you know, curated it, did the A&R, did the creative direction. We're doing a show in a few weeks to celebrate the release. And, and, and that's, uh, that's, you know, that's a lot of her work involved well you know just what you were saying like you know if you go to any club in manhattan or brooklyn maybe M brooklyn more i mean there are a million bands playing in all these yeah. clubs like every night of the week listen the, there are a lot of bad ones don't get yeah me. i was in a few of those <laughs> bad ones right but there are a lot of great ones you know you see scenes in austin and nashville uh los angeles whatever throughout the country that are are thriving more than ever um and yeah i don't know some people feel that that new york has taken a back seat again that's further from the truth and you being a, a personality that exposes new music i mean this is this is a great uh, opportunity for for this to be exposed um you know what was i going to say well i would love so to to answer your question some of the artists some of the because the, yeah. they actually have some of the grim best grim streaker grim streaker one fantastic of fantastic band name uh, another band <laughs> yeah that is a good one uh, some of the other names your dog blasteroid and my favorite the 94 nicks <laughs> Whoa, Whoa, fantastic full circle. yeah that. full yeah. circle of the these interview. are i know these are these are some of the bands in the compilation that i think we'll hear a lot more from them in the near future so it's uh it's an e it's not an ep it's like 10 or 11 12 songs it's right a full compilation so it's uh it's called uh new and noteworthy or just noteworthy noteworthy, noteworthy. 01 and we're doing a uh, sort of a release celebratory show at Union Pool on August 16th, right? Okay, so everybody go out and pick that up and uh, pick up Sonny's new EP. It's called Learning to Swim. And uh, tell me about this night at the Seaport. Uh, you know, everyone thinks that the Seaport is like you go down there to the East River, you find the ship, and that you're at the event. But this is a little bit before that. It, let me just say it's Thursday night, August 3rd, an evening with Glass Note. Uh, Bayo, Robert DeLong, and Sonny. So where is it, and how do people uh, find it? It's at the Seaport District, is what they're calling it now, uh, formerly the South Street Seaport. So if you've been to shows at the South Street Seaport before, and you go to that general area, I promise you will find our show. It's at Fulton and Front Street, it's yeah. right there. It's not on the dock. It's, it's a little not bit on the before dock. that. It's a little before that and up on the street in a basically a the square. The Cobblestone Mall cobblestone there. Cobblestone Square. And yeah. it's, it's a large area. It's completely free, open to everyone. Just walk on up. And um, the show you know, came together as we were thinking about starting to do things for our 10th anniversary. And serendipitously, our friends at Live Nation, my friend Stacy George, hit me up out of the blue and said, I have a, a budget and an idea for to do a couple shows uh, this summer at the Seaport with Howard Hughes. And instead of just booking bands, I'm looking for partners that want to curate it. So they ended up doing two shows. The first was on July 4th with Blue Note Records. Mm. And now we have our show with Glass Note Records on August 3rd. And uh, when putting it together, we, we you know, uh, Bayo, who has a new record out this year, and Robert DeLong, who is always one of our favorite bands to have play live at any event that we're a part of, be it a showcase or a festival. And then the opportunity for Sonny, who joined us recently, to, to play his first show in New York. So, And that'll is, be uh, Thursday night, August 3rd. What time does it start? 7? or starts at 6. Starts at 6. The doors so. will open at 5. There's food. There's Right after work. Drinks. Yeah. There's plenty of things to do for a happy hour. Sun and it's free. Completely free. free. Seaportdistrict.nyc, right? And Jeff will buy every single attendee a beer. That's that is that is <laughs> inaccurate, but wow. inaccurate. but the spirit it's pretty is pretty nice there. of you, yeah. dude. Wow, amazing. Okay, so <laughs> that event is uh, six o'clock Thursday night, August third, at the Seaportdistrict.nyc. All the info right there. It is Bayo. It is Sunny. It is Robert DeLong. Uh, the tenth anniversary of Glass Note Records, and um, get the uh, the new compilation EP. Noteworthy 01. Guys, uh, best of luck. Thank you for coming by, and I'm sure I will see you again. Thank you. Thanks Thanks will we us. see you on August 3rd? Come on. Uh, I'm going to Lala, dude. Uh, uh, all right. Sorry. Sell out. You're selling out New York. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Chicago, so I get it, but all I'll right. be here. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah.
York's classic rock, Q1043.